17 F250 diesel. Um, front windows don't work or light up. Power mirrors, mirrors don't adjust. Um, airbag lights on. Sometimes uh, tire pressure sensor fault will come up. Um, no climate control. No air. Um, sucks, especially it's summertime. Luckily, we've had a cool, cool evenings and stuff. But there's a couple issues. There's a uh, electrical connector back under the rear bumper that gets water in it and shorts out. But pretty sure down under the right hand side sorry you can't see down here right side underneath the glove box on that under that a post there's a um it's where your fuse panel lives in these super duties and that where what they plug into is called your body module it goes bad so this truck's going to ford on monday and i'll let you know what fixes the problem probably the body module we my dad rewired that connector and uh, had water in it, but that thing's a pain. You have to reprogram it and you need two key fobs. So I have to get another key fob from Ford. They're like 225. I bought one on a website for 70 bucks, but 70 bucks to reprogram it also. And then uh, I'll let you know what fixes the problem. Just got my truck back from Ford. Airbag lights off. The air works, radio, everything. Everything works again. This connector, and I'll attach where it's at, but this connector lives up under the rear bumper by the spare tire with a bunch of wires going in it. It gets water in it. It's a problem from Ford. They know about it. They know right where to go. Uh, my dad tried rewiring it, but we, he couldn't get the spare tire down, and it was in a problem area. So $730 later at Ford, they rewired this. Everything works again. I thought it might have been my uh, body module, but it wasn't, and uh, everything fixed. This connector gets water in it. I think they put another one on. It's probably going to get more water in it. It's called job security, but... That'll fix your problem if your window, front windows won't go down, airbag lights on, tire pressure sensor fault, air doesn't work, probably some other issues also. The mirrors, power mirrors don't work, all fixed. That connector just needed rewired. Um, I don't know why it cost $700, but uh, yeah, all right. I never, I never, I never, I never.